You're interested in dating me, so you can climb the career ladder, don't you? Nah, I'm good. Hold on a sec. Can we at least swap numbers? What? Say what? Why does she want to get Keiichi's number, though? I'm Keiichi Sato, and I work in sales for Tokimeki Foods, Inc. I'm at this exclusive matchmaking party tonight because my coworkers brought me along. Whoa, I'm wondering if it's actually okay for a regular guy like me to show up at a fancy matchmaking party like this. It's like, all about meeting the requirements to get in, man. Since we're part of a major company branch, we're seen as important and got invited to this fancy matchmaking party. Ah, gotcha. It might be my only shot at catching a rich lady here. <laughs> hey, dude, check it out. That's Yui Suzuki, the CEO's daughter. Come on, let's go get her. We need to make a move on her right away, man. Those two were really hyped, but... <laughs> Here's my business card. Here's mine, too. Oops, my phone just slipped out. In the end, she completely brushed them off without a second thought. So, you're also interested in dating me so you can climb the career ladder, don't you? Uh, you're asking me? I mean, we're practically strangers. Wait, huh? You're aware of Tokimeki Trading Corp, right? They're among the top five trading companies in Japan. They're, They're the, the ones, ones in charge of our company. company. I'm the daughter of the CEO at that company. Hmm? Mm. Nah, I'm good. Excuse me? After that, as the matchmaking party wrapped up and I was preparing to head out... Hey, wait up! I've never met someone like you. So, can we at least swap numbers? What? Say what? Why does she want to get Keiji's number though? So, is this all good? Yeah, thanks. I'll make sure to give you a call. Hey, what's the story with you and Yui? Uh, I didn't do a thing to her. Damn it! Huh? The next morning... Hey, Mamoru and Michio. Good morning. Did she give you a call after that? What? Nah, Yui hasn't called me since then. Ah, how come she only swapped numbers with you, KG? I have no clue. It happened all of a sudden. Hello there. Is Keiji Sato around? Whoa, that scared me. Wait, Wait is, is that, that Yui? Yui? Oh, uh, hey, Yui. What made you come at our office? He's the number one salesperson around here, Mr. Suzuki. You, join us in Mr. Inada's office immediately. Y yes sir What the? What's going on? Hold up! That was Mr. Suzuki, the CEO of Tokimeki Trading Corp, wasn't it? They're one of Japan's top five trading companies, right? Ah! Why is it KG every single time? Mr. Suzuki is here because Tokimeki Trading Corp, our parent company, is in need of a top performing sales rep and he believes you're the right person for the job, KG. Daddy? I mean, Mr. Suzuki? This is the person we're looking for. We really need him. KG, your outstanding sales achievements at Tokimiki Foods Inc. have caught our attention. And we would like to offer you a position at our company. Ha ha! KG is the only one Yui has eyes for. Mr. Mr. Suzuki, Suzuki and Mr. Inada are giving me recognition. recognition. What, what a privilege. privilege. I, can't I can't say, say no, no to Mr. Suzuki's, Suzuki's offer. offer. All right, I'll take you up on your offer, sir. Yes. And just like that, I made up my mind to move to our head company, Tokimiki Trading Corp. Um, I've got everything set for the handover, so I was thinking we could have a meeting for me to pass on my tasks. You're switching over to Tokimiki Trading Corp, aren't you? How'd you land that massive promotion? Who even cares about the handover? Congrats, dude! But if I don't hand off my work to you guys properly, it's gonna impact the entire sales department. And that means you two as well. Cheers! Mamoru and Michio didn't really care about my handover. But then the office. I'm terribly sorry. You want to speak with Keiichi? Oh, he actually quit our company not long ago. 
Wait, what? You want to end our contract? No, please, wait! Ah, uh, what is going on? Clients are all over us with complaints, and we're stuck not getting anything done! We can't manage this on our own! What is going on here? Our company is in a state of chaos! Keiichi was dealing with a massive amount of clients! We can't handle them all, so now we're getting bombarded with complaints from them! Are you two able to fix the issues we're experiencing and deal with them? Honestly, we need some extra support because we can't handle these issues alone! Is there a possibility for you two to handle this situation? I think we should reach out to Keiichi for help. Without him, I don't see us fixing these issues. Hmm, I see what you mean. While all of that was going down, I kicked off my job at Tokimeki Trading Corp, and I ended up being Yui's colleague. Wow, I didn't know you were this talented. You've only been part of our team for a short time, and you're already making a huge difference in achieving results for our company. Haha, <laughs> it's all thanks to you. By the way, at that matchmaking party, why did you only want my number? I've never had someone treat me as an equal like you did. It really made my day. Really? If things carry on like this at our company, we're in serious trouble. I'm planning to talk to Mr. Suzuki myself. Since you both used to work with Keiichi, I would like for you two to come along with me. Yes, yes sir! sir. So, despite my approval of Keiichi's transfer to this company, I understand it's awkward to make this request, but his help is essential. What are you talking about? Keiichi is already with our company. That's enough, Yui. I'm sorry. Yui. Due to Keiichi's contribution, our company's results have gotten better, and our financial situation is now secure. We are reluctant to lose him. But the decline in our subsidiary's business situation is a pressing issue. So, one option could be to have Keiichi join Tokimeki Foods Inc. once again, until things get better. Oh, thank you, Mr. Suzuki. But, me going back to Tokimeki Foods Inc. won't be very effective. Unless my old co-workers there can collaborate and work in a coordinated way towards the same objective. What do you mean? Oh, you're talking about those two ex-colleagues of yours, right? It seems like they're not very good at cooperating and staying organized. W w what are you talking about? W we'll be cooperative and handle things properly, right? For sure, he's right! We've always gotten along and worked well together as a team, don't you agree? Ever since Yui and I got along, you both changed your behavior towards me. Not cooperating and refusing to listen when I wanted to pass on my work to you, remember? What? W wait a minute, what are you on about? Did that actually happen? Overlooking handovers can bring about significant negative impacts for the company. Of course, we already know that! Both of you got jealous of Keiichi when we got along, and ever since then, you're acting cold towards him and refusing to cooperate like overlooking his handover. I can't believe you both let jealousy ruin things like this. Ha! N no it's not like that. We keep our personal feelings separate from work. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, totally. We'd never do that. For sure. Hmm. They're, They're denying, denying it, it so, so much, much. It's, it's pretty, pretty clear. clear. Anyway. Especially now, we can't allow jealousy to hold back the whole company, right? And we've got more important things to focus on. The chaos at Tokimeki Foods Inc. is because... You both haven't been doing your jobs properly and not valuing each task appropriately. For instance, not getting proper handovers like in this situation. Also, consistently making efforts to build trust with your clients is essential. If you had done this, you could have reduced the current flood of complaints from the clients and this situation would have been sorted out quicker. You're absolutely right, Keiichi. Absolutely. Keiichi is killing it as usual. Oh man, seriously? So, this means our company's work environment is one where jealousy leads to mistreatment by colleagues, right? 
How should we handle this? Hmm. Here's an idea. Huh? I suggest we send Keiichi back to Tokimiki Foods Inc. for a two-year term. Okay. But... Typically, a transfer to a subsidiary results in a promotion to a rank that is one level above the current position. Right, but... Considering the implications for your sales department, we can bend the rules and advance him to department manager two levels above his current position. He will lead your sales department. <gasps> wow! Wait, I lead the sales department? No way! So Keiichi is going to be my boss? And he runs our department? Mamoru and Michio? And just do as the new department head says and make sure you do your job right. Got it? Gah! And Yui, you'll be his right-hand person too. I've heard you both work really well together. <gasps> wow! Oh my gosh! I'll do everything I can. Thanks, Daddy. <laughs> so, what do you think? I believe that's a wonderful idea. I'm all for it. I'm grateful for your consideration. I'd be happy to accept your offer. Ah, KG is gonna lead our department for real! Just so you know, once the situation at the company improves, you'll transfer KG back to our company, right? Yes, of course, Mr. Suzuki. I'm, I'm so, so happy, happy for, for this, this opportunity. opportunity! And so, I came back to Tokimiki Foods Inc. leading the sales department, with Yui by my side as assistant manager. Yes, this is Keiichi speaking. Yes, it's been a while since we last talked. Haha, <laughs> yes, thank you very much. All right, take care. Hold up! So that client who was going on and on to me on the phone just quieted down. As soon as you started talking, Keiichi, and now everything's fixed? Yeah, the clients have faith in me. So I gave them a call, they relaxed and even expressed gratitude and promised to keep doing business with us. Wow, that's impressive. Establishing trust with clients can really have a big impact. Oh man, he's so good! He's handling clients' issues back to back! We're pretty much useless and not relevant here! I made sure to have a conversation with each customer until they were satisfied. And soon enough, the chaos in the office began to settle down. And one day, we came across something quite shocking. Here, this is the rundown of expenses for the sales department. Look at this. Entertainment expenses? Those are like the funds used for meeting up with clients, right? Uh, wait! Let me get this straight. Does this mean that one client meeting can go up to tens of thousands of yen? That's really high. Yeah, exactly. The cost of meeting one client is super high, especially when the company is struggling. So, I sense something wasn't right here. Right. Let's have a chat with the workers who dealt with this. <gasps> Uh-oh. All these high expenses are connected to Mamoru and Michio. Yeah. So, about these high expenses... What were those client meetings all about? We were just fulfilling our responsibilities and putting in the effort during those meetings with our clients. Is there a problem? Wait a sec, are you hinting that we were escaping from our failing company? By using those expenses and going out with our clients? Is that what you're saying? <sighs> mm. <sighs> Talking, Talking to, to them is getting, getting us, us nowhere. nowhere. Alright, I see. Please excuse me for asking these strange questions to you. Thank you very much for your help. So, what did you find out? I spoke with the clients listed for those meetings, and they confirmed they didn't go to any of those meetings. <sighs> Wait, are you serious? I think there's more to uncover here. I'll look into it a bit more. Alright, I apologize for the hassle. I appreciate it. Who was that on the phone? I gave the restaurant a ring where they claim to have business meetings with clients. The upscale spots usually keep tabs on the number of guests. And what do you know? Only two people ever came to those meetings. <gasps> no way! Only two people showed up for the client meetings Mamoru and Michio were handling? Where were the clients? 
Did they even show up at the restaurant? Looks like they didn't show up, I guess. So, it appears that those two were using company money to pay for their personal meals. Is that the case? Yes, sir. After some research, it seems very likely that's what happened. I see. If that happens to be true, what they did amounts to embezzlement, a criminal offense. I need Mamoru and Michio to come to my office immediately. We checked with our clients and the restaurant you used about those significant entertainment expenses you both were connected to. Oh crap! So what? So, there weren't any client meetings to start with, correct? Uh. It appears that way. Do you both not remember using company funds for those personal expensive meals? What? Uh, are you kidding me? You don't have any evidence we did that, do you? I don't see any proof. Huh, plus why would we even do it? The statements made by the clients and the restaurant are clear evidence. I strongly believe that there's a high possibility of embezzlement on your part. So if we decide to report this, the police will conduct an investigation and the truth will come out. How does that sound? Wait a sec, the police is gonna find out about the spending we did at the hostess bar as well? Grr, that day? That day we decided to take Keiji to the exclusive matchmaking party to show off how well we're doing and feel good about ourselves. But surprisingly, Keiji was the one who stood out to Yui and... So, you both got jealous of Keiji, didn't you? Ah! We totally lost it. We simply wanted to let loose in a major way, so... Damn it! You guys were both blinded by the idea of a quick and easy success, like a gold digger. Which rarely leads to positive outcomes. Even if it does, it's not sustainable, and the consequences are more severe. What you two really should keep in mind is the need for consistent daily effort, instead of chasing after easy wins. This is what truly helps in building genuine strength over time. That's my take on it. After that, Mamoru and Michio were fired for their actions. They faced a lawsuit from Tokimeki Foods Inc. and were arrested by the police for embezzlement. So, our own jealousy brought us down, huh? Yeah, ah! Uh... And as for me and Yui, we grew closer through our teamwork and... I brought those documents you wanted, Keiichi. Huh? <sighs> Thanks! Whoa, Whoa she's, she's super, super close. close! Hey, how about we go grab some lunch together? Yui has been really bold recently, trying to get closer to me, and it's really getting my heart racing. Thanks for watching until the end! Please subscribe to our channel!